Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to add a fixed or a sticky menu to our Divi WordPress theme here. As you can see if we scroll down the page it stays in place. This isn't the secondary menu, this is a brand new menu that we've added here. It's pretty easy to do with a Divi theme. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go to a page that doesn't have it on it and enable my visual builder. The visual builder lets us build on the front end here. The first thing I want to do is I want to add a new section, a little blue button to add a section. The Divi theme is absolutely awesome, keeps getting better and better with more and more features. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. I'm going to add a full width section, but actually it really doesn't make it lot of difference because we're going to make the menu itself fixed not the section. Now we've added it I'm going to go down and add a full width menu. Left click and that's put that in there as you can see. I want a different menu in there so I'm going to select the menu that I've made in the dashboard menu section. It's got a few more items on it. Now then, design-wise, I want it to have a blue background. I want the text to be white and I want the actual links to be centered. So for the first thing, the background, let's go down to background, make it blue. Great. Let's go over to our design tab now and menu text. Active link, I'm going to have everything as white, so it's active links white and the text is white down here. You can make your text bigger or smaller or change fonts. By default, Divi comes with a, a crazy amount of fonts uh, as standard. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of them to choose from, so you're never stuck for a font. Okay, the other thing that I want to do is make that centralized. I want to put it in the middle of our menu. So let's close up menu text and open up layout left align I want mine centered you have the option to add a logo to this menu if you want to um, I'm not adding one because it's not going to fit in with what I'm doing here but if you did have a logo you could have inline centered logo so that your logo was in the middle if you wanted it to be but everything there is just pretty much exactly what I want the only thing is I want it to be sitting just below our top menu up here and I don't want it to disappear off the page every time I scroll up. Now since I made the last video about this which was a couple of years ago they've made it really easy for you. There's no custom code, there's no custom CSS or anything like that. We can go over to our advanced tab. Down at the bottom we've got position. And we've got default, relative, absolute, and fixed. Now the one we want is fixed, so it stays exactly where it is. Now when I set it to fixed, it may disappear because we haven't told it where it's got to be yet. And <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it's right there, look. Okay, let's tell it where it needs to be. Well, it needs to be this much down. So if we go to our theme customizer, I would have set a height for that menu. So if we go down to Divi, to the customizer, let's look at our header and navigation and see, see how tall that menu actually is. And that's our primary menu bar. And it's 90 pixels. So if we go back here, or back here rather, I can close that one, that was that old page. We need to offset it by 90 pixels from the top and it should be in the right position and then we've got to make it a bit wider so that's our horizontal that's our vertical offset let's put 90 in there and see if it works fantastic it looks like it's sitting I'm just gonna pull it a little bit more I'm going the wrong way because I want to see if a gap appears so we're not actually at the top we actually have to give it yeah you see the the black appearing up there just get it so it's sitting right on the top so we've got 105 and if we scroll it's going to stay there great now we want it to be the full width 
So let's go to Design tab, down to Sizing, and for width, you can either just slide this until it goes up to 100%, and as you can see, that's stretched at 100%, or you can type in 100%. Okay, that's pretty much it, I think. Now, one thing I noticed there was when I'm scrolling, you can see the text behind it. I don't want that. I want it to uh, disappear under it like you would with a normal menu. So let's go back to our advanced again. We'll go down to position. This time we're going to look at Z index or Z index, Z index. Now just slide this up to you've got a number there and you're going to see now it's now in front. It looks like we've got a little bit of gap at the top there we've got to deal with. So let's just take that back down. There we go, that gap's gone and you can no longer see things in front of that menu because our Z index has pulled it in front of the other things. The higher the number, the more forward it is on the site. Great, menu's looking good, but that next section, we now have to tell that it wants a margin on the top, the height of this, which is about 75, 70, 75 pixels, something like that. So let's go into this section right here. I believe is this one and we'll give it a margin at the top let's try 75 I think that's what I used before yeah it looks about right now let's bring it up so we can see any gap or we'll make sure we've got it bang on there you see that white line appearing we want to just close it up till that disappears. Perfect. We'll save that. We'll save our changes. Exit the Visual Builder. That still looks like we've got a little bit, not quite enough on this one here, so we can adjust that a little bit more in a second. Everything else is working absolutely perfectly. The menu is staying where it is. One thing to bear in mind is your fixed header height. You want to make sure that your fixed navigation height is the same as your primary menu height. I'll, I'll demonstrate that because if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is our primary menu height. We've got it set to 90 picks. If we go back here and go to fixed navigation settings, at the moment you'll see they're set to 90 yours won't be so when I scroll that's fine but sometimes this is set to like 60 or something like that as a default it's not the same as your usual one which means your top bar will shrink as you scroll now that's not going to look good I'll demonstrate if I actually publish this and refresh our new menu should be up here because this is the page I use for the home page. Let's just refresh this now it's published. There's our menu here which looks fine. Well I know I've got to adjust that bit so that white line's gone. Looks fine when we're not scrolling but when you start to scroll you can have a bit of a problem. See that gap appears there and that's purely because of that fixed navigation setting. So if we go back in header and navigation fixed now settings put it back so it's equal exactly the same as the other one 90 to make sure that's what the other one was I'm pretty sure primary menu bar which is this I want to make sure that 90 fantastic publish that and it should all be good I'm just going to quickly go back in and just tweak that little one a little bit more so that lines not there and it was in this one right here and it was just the margin at the top. Again, I use these little arrows. Take one more. Job done. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a
a great day.